I'm going to go ahead and lean with the home team. I'll lay the points. Minus three right now is, is minus 110 odds. I think they set the tone here. I'm going to lay the seven points uh, with the nugget. Oh, yeah. What's going on, guys? NBA Sunday, a fantastic day yesterday. Uh, 3-0 and with my NBA plays. Nice way to kick off the playoffs. Uh, the fraudulent play in kind of the, the fake playoff games are finally over. We just kind of treaded water, didn't make a ton of money in the playing games, but the actual playoffs are off to a great start three and oh in my NBA plays today. Baseball continues to stay hot seven and three over my last four days in baseball. That's a 70% winning rate. Uh, we cash on SoBet today. SoBet, I'm a pro over there. I'm one of the pros on SoBet platform. That link is in the description. If you're interested, I only give out one pick a day on SoBet. But that makes uh, two in a row over on SoBet, three out of four. Cash today with a nice parlay over there, Knicks and Nuggets. I'll go ahead and put the text on the screen today that did get sent out to my actual clients, though. When you sign up on the website, you provide your phone information. You go on the SMS list, and you get a daily pick from me with my plays. It's been a great little run here. I look to continue that dialed in haters got me fueled up there's been a lot of haters in the comments you don't see them all the time you won't see them today because i'm coming off a, an amazing day and they'll be uh quiet but hey if i have another losing day sometime in the near future because they do happen i'm gonna lose sometime in probably the next few days i'll have a losing day i'm sure uh, you never know this could be the start of a real serious run but i'll have a losing day at some point and then the haters will be back so you guys can head down to the comments section and check out the local haters i got nothing better to do than Go on someone's YouTube channel who spends hours out of their day to bring free opinions, give free whiteboard winners, the Knicks minus three, cash that for you guys. Uh, so a 1-0 record to start the actual NBA playoffs. I'm going to update that whiteboard in today's video, of course, try to get you guys another winner. I uh, hope you guys would subscribe to my channel, drop a like on the video. Both are free. I do this. It takes me hours to, to do these videos, record them, edit them, and upload them. So uh, a little bit of a like button action, some subscribers. That's all good stuff. I'd appreciate that. I think that's a fair deal. Uh, and also gave you guys pretty good opinions on the all four games, you know, three and one on my op opinions against the spread uh, for Saturday. So hopefully we can go 4-0. Hopefully we can go 4-0 today. I do also want to add some screenshots here uh, of some personal bets I made, some risky parlays that uh, are, are far too risky to actually give out to clients. But I placed them myself and did quite well today. Uh, you can see the dollar amounts wagered. I know some people flex $20, $50 parlays, um, people that claim to actually be professionals. Uh, and I tell you guys time and time again, I don't make all of my money off of my clients. Okay. That's why I charge $30 for a week of my picks dirt cheap. Uh, I make my money off my bets. You can see it there. I made thousands of dollars today all combined. Uh, so all is good. Looking to continue the mojo, continue the positivity, get you guys more free winning picks and uh, hopefully we can all eat, man. There's plenty of space in this world for everybody just to be nice to each other, uh, bounce opinions off each other, use all of our opinions collectively and get dialed in on these games. And, uh, you know, there's no need for me or for you to receive the negativity. Let's put it on the actual books. Let's put it on Vegas. Let's make them feel the negativity when we keep cashing tickets. I think that should be the ultimate goal. Uh, cast a free play on TikTok as well. Make sure you guys follow me on TikTok. That link's in the description. All the links, my website, the SoBet link, and the TikTok link, they're all in the description. Let's get into today's video. We got four games to go over. I think I went over enough. And if I miss some things, I don't care. I'm trying to do you guys a solid, get you in, get you out, say what I got to say, but get you these free opinions in as little time as I can. Let me pull up my sports book here just to make sure the numbers that I have on the screen like this number is still accurate. So that is good. The other one's good. The other one's good. And the other one is good. Four games on Sunday. Let's go. Heat Celtics, boy. Heat Celtics. What do we, uh, man. So, okay. So this game is not a matter of if the Celtics win or lose, but we're talking 14 points here. I mean, are, are the Celtics going to be strategic enough to where they can actually afford to win this game so comfortably that maybe in like the late third quarter, early fourth quarter, they can actually pull their starters, save some rest, save some energy, go with the long-term investment. You know, they want to win a championship, anything less, anything less than a championship this year for Boston is a bust. Missoula is going to be on the hot seat. Um, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum being on the same team, all this stuff is going to come into play if the Celtics come up short here. Um, so I don't know how heavy on the gas pedal the Celtics 
want to be. Do they want to just cruise to a 10 or an 11 point win here? Do the Heat get a backdoor cover? You know, maybe at some point in this game, the margin could be 20. Do the Heat have enough grit and, and, and fight to kind of battle back when the Celtics ease off the gas pedal? slide in for a backdoor cover and the margin ends up being 12 or 13 points. I think it's possible, but I think this is a tone setting game. I said it with the nuggets. Uh, I'm going to say it here. We know the history, the heat and the Celtics, man. We know the history from these two teams. Uh, the heat having to play two of those playing games. I think that hurts. Obviously you no know, Jimmy. He was an animal versus the Celtics in the past, not having him may not have affected that game uh, in the play-in as much, but I think it affects this one a lot. I think Celtics are going to jump on these boys. I think they're going to beat them into the ground. They might be able to ease off the gas pedal and still cover the number. The only way you can look in this game is either Celtics or pass. Don't put your money on the Heat, man. Are the Heat going to get one game in the series? Ah, uh, man, I mean... I'm really not sure. I'm really not sure. I think they're probably maybe going to get one. Um, but just wait for that better opportunity. Game one overall in these playoff series, you kind of want to feel it out. This is a no brainer. It's either your money goes on the Celtics or don't touch the game. You could also maybe look at the first half, uh, as I do think the Celtics want to show their old friends, their old and en- well, not friends, their old enemies of the playoffs. Uh, knowing, I think they smell blood in the water with no Jimmy. I don't think, I don't think Jason Tatum and some of those Celtics players that looked, man, I remember in the playoffs, they got so tense and tight in some of those high stakes moments. And it's like the, the Celtics would get so tense and just lock up and almost give away games while the heat just looks so clutch and fearless. I think they're going to smell blood in the water for, for this free prediction. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay the points. Uh, I'll, I'll lay the 14 with the Celtics here. This could be pretty one-sided game. Number two interesting line movement here. Uh, I'm not sure how healthy uh, Kawhi is, and that's a big factor. Out of Paul George, Harden, Kawhi, all the people over there on that clip, Westbrook, uh, all the Clippers, Kawhi is absolutely the most important piece. Um, But I don't know. I don't know. This game, and, and guys, keep in mind, Timberwolves, easy win. Cavs, easy win. Knicks, easy win. Nuggets, easy win. Four home teams, four favorites, all cash, all covered. So what are we doing here? Are we going to have four more of those? No, there's got to be an upset somewhere. And if you notice, on Saturday, yesterday, it was the home teams that were favored, right? Cavs at home, favored. Timberwolves at home, a short favorite. Knicks at home, a short favorite. Nuggets at home, a medium favorite. Now we got the Mavericks on the road as a favorite. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Clippers here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Clippers here. I know Harden has totally fallen off. A couple of those 76ers games where where Harden shot poorly, it was like, oh my god, this is brutal to watch. Um, and I don't love the Clippers coach. And obviously, it's hard to to go against Luca. Um, I'm gonna go with the the old boys in this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna take two and a half. You're gonna give me two and a half points. I'm not gonna be greedy and say money line upset. Uh, but we got to see some dogs cover, man. We can, we're not going to get eight favorites covering in the first games of these first rounds. Uh, at least I don't think so. Uh, I'll go ahead and take the Clippers plus two and a half here. I, I think, let me tell you the money splits too. Where is all the money? It's got to be on the Mavs. Heavy. How heavy is it? This could further encourage my prediction here. Uh, not that these money splits have really meant anything as of late, but it's just interesting. Uh, you don't want to be on public underdogs. I will tell you that if you're on a public favorite, not the end of the world, it, you know, not, not terrible, but if you're on a public underdog, that should be alarm bells going off. Dallas Clippers, the money is all over Dallas. 88% of the money on the money line and 84.5% of bets against the spread. Give me the Clippers. It wouldn't shock me if they win this game outright. Next game. Pacers Bucks. Uh, so the Pacers were an underdog until uh, until Giannis obviously ran into some injury bugs. I think you know I, I like the I was all over the Pacers. I was looking at that plus three that was the line before the Giannis situation, and I was going to take the Pacers. Um, this is a rivalry. These teams don't like each other. I expected this game to be close and back and forth, even if Giannis was a hundred percent. 
Uh, I don't like the Bucks team. I hate Doc Rivers. Uh, there's only one reason that dude has a job in the NBA, and that I'm not going to say here uh, out loud on my YouTube video. I don't want my YouTube channel to get taken down, but we all know why Doc is still even allowed to coach in the game of basketball. He's horrendous. He's a horrible coach. I, I, I don't see it here. Dame's kind of fallen off. He just doesn't look like he has that fire anymore. Maybe they come alive in the playoffs. It's still a home court team. And uh, like I said, man, uh, I expect some underdogs to show up uh, today on Sunday. But I'm kind of counting the Pacers as an underdog. I know they're minus one and a half now, but they weren't underdog. I think they still have the mentality that they're an underdog. And I'm going to treat them the same way uh, in terms of the money on this game. If this will load real quick. By the way, you can get an even minus one if you want. You can, go, you can go money line. Pacers money line is minus 115. Don't be laying that point and a half. I put that on the screen just to keep you guys up to speed with what my current line is. But if, if you like the Pacers, do not lay one and a half. Go on the money line, please. 74.5% um, of bets are on the Pacers. Only 60% of the money. That is a bad sign. That favors the Bucks. Um, and 72% of money line bets are on the Pacers. Uh, with only 60% of the tickets. So uh, that looks a little sharper for the Pacers, and I would imagine most of the money on this game is going to be a money line play with a spread of one and a half. People are just taking the money line here. So looks okay for the Pacers. I'm going to go Pacers money line in this one. I just think it's the right side to be on. I also think if that comes up short and the Bucks win this one, you can just jump right back on the Pacers. I think they probably win the series um, so maybe that's something to look at a series future bet. There's a little bonus for you guys. Uh, maybe something to consider. And the final game here, we got the Pelicans an eight and a half point spread. The Pelicans don't impress me, man. I I'm not going to put too much stock into that last playing game. The other two teams quit, man. Those last two playoff games, the Kings, the, the Kings Pelicans, the Kings and the Bulls were ready for Cabo, man. Their, their vacation was already booked. It was like, they didn't even want to try, man. The Kings tried at the very, very end. They went down 20, totally content to go down 20, and then tried super hard, got it within seven, lost anyway when they knew it was over. Let's go to this last game in terms of money splits here. Spread is eight and a half. All the money's on OKC in terms of money line. In terms of the spread, though, the Sharps are on the Pelicans, undeniable. Only 41% of bets are on New Orleans. But 51% of the money, so the sharp money, there's not much of it, but the sharps are on the Pelicans. The bigger wagers are on the Pelicans here. We're getting eight and a half points. Pelicans are better on the road here. Oklahoma City, are they kind of a fraudulent one seed? <sighs> My gut tells me to take the points here. This is a spread prediction, just like the Heat, just like the Heat game. There's no chance Oklahoma City loses. I mean, it's set in stone. Uh, they're going to win the game. Eight and a half. I don't know. We'll see what happens tomorrow. If this gets up to like a nine, I might bet it. If it gets up a little bit higher, I might bet it. Uh, but but for the video, eight and a half, you forced me to wager on this. And I'm going to take the points. I know it's going to be unpopular. Maybe I can get the haters to come out even on this video after, you know, everything's great in my life. And everyone usually goes quiet, but uh, I'm going to take the points. Let me know if you guys disagree with any of my plays or any of your plays uh, that you like. Put those in the comments. Let me know. Let's have a conversation. Let's get dialed in together. I'll take the points with the Pelicans. Eight and a half is a lot, especially in a game one where, like, you're coming in with house money. <coughs> you're on the road. You're supposed to lose. Maybe they lose by five or six. Whiteboard winner. Hopefully you guys didn't skip to this point in the video just to get the whiteboard winner. I give out a lot of knowledge for free here. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, especially NBA playoffs. That's how that got up on my shelf decades ago, NBA playoffs. What are we going to go with here? What are we going to go with for the whiteboard winner? I think I know what will get us to 2-0. and Currently on FanDuel, I'm seeing the Celtics minus eight in the first half of the game. That's what I'm going to go with. I think the rivalry, no Jimmy Butler, that environment. The, I mean, the Garden's going to be absolutely crazy. That team stacked. I know the Heat looked okay against the Bulls. The Bulls didn't want to be there. Uh, I still don't have faith in this Heat team. 
Uh, give me the Celtics minus eight and a half. I think they're going to jump on them, boys. So hopefully we can get to two and zero for our official playoff record. We'll keep that going. I got videos coming, guys, every single day in the NBA playoffs, and then MLB will take over for the summer. So again, double check. Make sure you are subscribed. Get on the website. Get yourself a package. Start winning with us on a consistent basis, long term. If you sign up and the first couple of days aren't, you know, you're rich, you're a millionaire overnight. You got to be able to stick with the program a little. They'll be losing days mixed in. We win long term. That's what it's about, guys. Do it the right way. Bankroll management, unit management, long term winning. Uh, that's how you do it from a professional standpoint. Catch you guys in the next video.